What is going on everybody? I want to start this video by asking you guys for some advice because I'm having an issue with my shifter. Watch this. This is in first gear. In first gear. Why, why is this happening? Second gear. If anybody has any advice or experience with this happening, please let me know. Hopefully I didn't just steal their soul. Alright guys, so this is just going to be a little weekly update. Um, not really weekly, but I guess just an update. I haven't done these in a, one of these in a very long time. And I thought it would be kind of cool to get back to doing this. Let me go around these guys here. You know, I was watching some of my older videos, and I used to do this kind of stuff all the time. And I want to try and get back to doing the things that I used to do, be more excited about YouTube, and be more just having a community and connecting with you guys and doing that kind of stuff. That's what, what I really used to enjoy. And, you know, it's easy to get caught up in YouTube and get caught up in, like, trying to do the next best thing and trying to make a viral video and all that kind of stuff. And... I want to get back to doing this kind of personal, more personal type of stuff. So, let's just start with a couple updates. We went to SEMA, had a blast, I made two videos. If you guys haven't seen that, I will put them either up here or down in the description. And I made one video that was basically just the highlights of all the cars that we saw, just shots of everything, uh, a little bit of commentary here and there. And then I made a second video, which was just basically like home video style of us going on the trip, having fun, doing stuff and whatnot, and I'll put that up here somewhere. If you guys check that out, if you already watched it, I really appreciate it. If you didn't, take the time to go watch it. We put a lot of effort into going out there. Uh, it didn't really get too many views, but it's not really a clickbaity title or anything like that. You have to be really interested in SEMA and the idea of it to watch those videos, but had a blast out there. Really opened my eyes to what can be done and kind of sprung me into more of, of action I guess I'm gonna say and well, I want to build more I want to do more I want to I want to be more active and, and do cooler stuff you know we're getting into the winter months where stuff kind of slows down with cars I'd like to make another trip somewhere warm uh, the s 2000s coming back along we had an issue with that the transmission transmission was making some bad noises uh, the clutch wasn't engaging and we actually found out that we were low on fluid in the clutch reservoir so that's why it wasn't engaging and then we had a tiny tiny dust shield that was rattling around in the clutch making a noise so thankfully there was no catastrophic failures or anything like that so i'm hoping to get that thing back up and running eventually i'd like to do a 370z transmission in that with a ford mustang rear end so the thing's just bulletproof uh, the engine right now we had a dyno year ago year and a half ago at about 480 horsepower <clears throat> to the wheels which is pretty cool but with all the time and effort and money that we put into it i'd like to be seeing like 700 to the wheels uh, if we get it on e85 it's going to bump bump it up a couple extra 100 horsepower uh real easily to the wheels um we need to find a tuner that knows s2000s and they know the hondas and they can really squeeze out the power uh and the potential that it has So, the next thing is the car dealership. So, selling cars at a car dealership is a lot harder than what we had originally planned. Wow, it's freaking hot here. You know, not saying that starting any business is easy, but man, we thought it was going to be a lot easier than what it is. And our initial ideas with the car dealership was we wanted to build cool stuff and have that dealership license so we could sell custom built stuff and hot rods and turbo s 2000s that are turnkey that you can get for fifteen thousand dollars and it just it hasn't been going as well as we thought we've sold probably close to 30 cars now which is really good but you don't make as much money off of cars as you think especially being a, a small used dealership a lot of the bigger dealerships make their money off of trade-ins they make their money off financing and selling you like gap insurance and extended warranties which is all stuff that 
do, but we don't do a lot of, and we don't really make that much money off it. So we're trying to get a game plan together on what we really want to do, what we need to focus on, put more energy into, and what our end goal is. We've been thinking about doing like an end of the week podcast. I don't know if that would be on here, or if we're going to start a whole new Route 168 Automotive channel. Uh, there already is a channel for that, but it's just been a couple car reviews here and there, nothing too special. Going to SEMA and just the past couple months of things slowing down, we're trying to get an idea of what really, really wants, needs to happen. The third thing I want to talk about is getting um, getting a merch line going again. I've had a lot of people ask me, uh, are you going to start doing more merch? Are you going to do it again? We had the Swanky Mods thing. I My full heart wasn't into it, so that was a failure. I sold some t-shirts, some stuff, which was really cool, some stickers. I appreciate all you guys that did that, that all you guys that bought stuff. It's just, my head wasn't into it. I wasn't seeing the results I wanted to see it, so I didn't put the full amount of energy into it. So I lost that domain. Somebody else bought it just because it had so much traffic going to it uh, that it was worth something. So I'm in the works of putting some things together I want to be able to sell things that we build not specifically like anything GTI related but if we did make a part for a GTI sell it on there uh, if we made parts for the S2000 if I made something like a made a video about something and you guys liked it and we built something and sell it on there I think that'd be really cool my my thoughts on the GTI specifically is it's getting to the point where I've done the more mods that I want to do like the aerofab stuff did the mud flaps I think it's really cool my next thing is I want to get a roof rack because I just bought a snowboard I'm trying to get into snowboarding I went a couple times uh, last year and it was really fun I want to get better at it so that's a hobby that I'm trying to take up we have that project GTI uh, the Ben has his mark for he's got wheels and tires and coilovers for her and some other bits and pieces that hopefully we're gonna be doing that soon um, if you guys have any interest in that please drop a comment and let me know give me a little bit more and set up to make videos about it. But I've heard from a lot of people that from zero subs to 10,000 is whenever you, you're really building your base and trying to figure out what you want to do. I've been tasting a couple different things, trying to see, I guess, what sticks, but I want to be more of what, I want to try to figure out what I like to do personally and what I enjoy making videos about and something that's not going to take me just dumping thousands and thousands of dollars into car mods and, and builds and things like that. I know the guys that are even watching this are probably the people that just like watching me and Ben and Teddy and Dave and us just have fun and you're not gonna not gonna leave if it's not all GTI content because let's be serious if you're watching this video anyways this isn't the clickbaity GTI video that's like hey like I'm doing these mods or this or that. Just to relay to you guys I'm still trying to find myself on YouTube and still trying to figure out what I can do that's going to be sustainable you know especially coming up with winter months that not too much car stuff's going on car shows or meets or things like that especially in this area it kind of stinks like when we go out west like there's so many people out there that love cars and sometimes I wish I could just transplant my entire life and my family to the west coast and somewhere where it's warm and somewhere where we could do car stuff all the time just trying to get everything together see see what this channel is going to morph into or what it can continue to be. I've talked a lot about getting a new car in the springtime. I'm up in the air between getting rid of this thing and trading it in or just keeping this and then getting what I want. I really, really want to get a 911. That's like my dream car right now, which is not unfathomable. I mean, my big thing is I want to get a four, a Carrera 4 or 4S and it's going to be a stick shift and you can find those with decent miles from mid 50s to mid 60s depending on the year the mileage the if it's an s if it's not an s if it's the career fours are usually more expensive but i want to daily drive a 911 i want to be able to document that and be able to live that cool life you know uh, but for that to happen i need to make some financially smart decisions i mean you guys know i mean we're all just normal people here and things are expensive trying to have an appropriate amount of money in your savings account trying to have all your bills paid, all your bills paid down. My big issue is I was stupid early on in my life and I used credit cards and I'm currently just paying that off just to be serious with you guys or be transparent. Um, I need to pay off a couple credit cards, get my, my credit score up 
and have a decent down payment to be able to make something like that happen. The cool thing is if I do get a four, uh, Carrera 4 four, uh, or a 4S, it doesn't have to be at the beginning of spring or summer. It could be midsummer. It could be even if it's October of next year, I can get a hell of a deal on a Carrera. Um, get a hell of a deal on a 911 because there's probably not too many people that are buying those around here in this area uh, at that point in time in the year. I don't know. We're going to see what happens, what kind of actions I take. I mean, it's all on me. It's all what I want to do, how much effort and time and dedication I put into it, if it's going to happen or not. Um, I've made videos before of me flipping stuff. I think that's really cool. It's fun. Uh, but it's few and far between where I make a killing on things, you know, that I'm just kind of lost in the YouTube game right now. And I, I think that you guys can understand that. And I don't want to completely abandon what I've already done. Uh, it kind of stinks that like my most popular video is us with that Teo Teo and that video has gained me about a thousand subscribers which I don't know how many of those guys are still around because I haven't really made too many videos like that. My end goal is to be able to do something sustainably that I'm doing all the time that's making me enough money that I can live off of the YouTube, live off of the ad revenue and live off of everything else that comes with YouTube. I mean, that's the goal of everybody that wants to do this full time, right? I don't know. This is just a little bit of a Russell rant. Just trying to be more transparent with you guys. Do more of this kind of stuff where it's like just me and you talking to the camera. I mean, it's easy for, it's easy for me to get down and say, man, I only have like 8,000 subscribers. But if I told Russell two years ago that I had 20 subscribers, man, you're going to have like 8,000 in two years. It's going to seem cool, but I guess it's just human nature to compare yourself to everybody else. It's just a Sunday drive home. I worked at 24 yesterday. Uh, had a good day at work. Thought I would film something on the way home and just kind of talk to you guys and give you a little bit of life update. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any ideas or any thoughts, drop me a comment. And let me know what you're thinking. Uh, I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.